Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 67 of C-Sharp tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss different ways that are available to make method parameters optional. In fact, this is a very common interview question as well. There are four ways that can be used to make method parameters optional. We can use parameter arrays, method overloading, specifying parameter defaults, and using optional attribute that's present in system.runtime.interrupt-services namespace. In this video, we'll discuss using parameter arrays. Let's say, for example, I want to implement a method that's capable of adding two or more numbers. For example, if the end user wants to add 15 numbers, your method should be capable of doing that. On the other hand, if I want to add just two numbers, still your method should be capable of doing that. Let's see how to implement such kind of a method. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Now let's make this method public and it's going to be static as well. So public static, it's not going to return anything, so void and let's call our method add numbers. And the first parameter is going to be of type integer and let's call it first number. Second parameter is of type integer again and this is going to be second number. So the first and second numbers that we want to add will be these two parameters. Now, if I want to add more than two parameters, then I'm going to use, you know, a parameter array here. So how do we specify, you know, a parameter array using params keywords? So params and then it's going to be of type object array and let's call this rest of numbers okay so the rest of the numbers that you want to add you will pass them you know as an object array as a parameter array all right so let's declare a variable of type integer and let's call it result which is going to be the sum of first and second numbers so first number plus second number now if the end user wants to add, you know, three or more numbers, you know, more than two numbers, then he's going to include the rest of the numbers within this object array. Okay, so if this rest of numbers is not null, meaning they have initialized that and passed the, you know, third, fourth and fifth numbers, how many ever he wants to add. Okay, so I'm going to check if this is null. So if rest of numbers is not equal to null then we know for sure he has you know more numbers to add in which case we want to add all the integers that that's present in this array into this result so let's see how to do that so result you know plus equals whatever is present in this rest of numbers so which means I have to loop through that array there so let's go ahead and use a for each loop there so for each int i in rest of numbers so what we are going to do result plus equals i okay and finally we want to display the sum to the end user and to do that let's go ahead and use console dot write line method console dot write line sum is equal to whatever is present in this variable result okay now let's say for example I want to add just two numbers you know since this is a static method I can just invoke it with the name add numbers and let's go ahead and pass 10 and 20 now the important thing to notice here is that look at the method declaration here it has got three parameters but how many parameters are we passing I mean how many arguments are we passing to this method only two for the first and second number I am not passing an argument for the third parameter and look at this when I go ahead and try to build the solution let's see if this gets compiled look at the status bar build succeeded so in spite of this method having three formal parameters I am only passing values for two of them which means the third parameter is optional here so what how is this optional because I am using this params keyword you know this is a parameter array okay so by using parameter array you know it's one of the ways to make your method uh, parameters optional so now obviously if I run the sum should be printed as 30 and that's what we see here on the other hand let's say for example the end user wants to add five numbers 10 20 30 40 and 50 how does he do that so I have 10 and 20 and the parameter array I can simply pass 30 40 and 50 like this so 30 40 and 50 are the arguments for this third parameter so if I run this now as you might expect we should get the sum of those five numbers which is 150 
okay so I can do it this way or since this is just an object array I can create a new object array initialize that with these three numbers and pass it as an argument so I can do it like this as well so new object and we are initializing that with 30 40 and 50 so now if I go ahead and run this we should get the same output which is 150 all right and another important thing to keep in mind is that a parameter array must be the last parameter in a formal parameter list. So if you look at this method at the moment it has got three parameters and then within these three parameters this is the last parameter. It has to be. Your parameter array has to be the last parameter otherwise you'll get a compilation error. So let's say for example I remove this from the last position and then if I make it the second parameter look at what's gonna happen if I try to build this obviously we will get a compilation error look at that a parameter array must be the last parameter in a formal parameter list alright now next video we'll discuss using method overloading as an option to, uh, you know to make method parameters optional on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day